So here's a very brief explanation of how to make a PCB, a printed circuit board. Here you can see uh, the board's already been designed in PCB Wizard and what we're going to do is just print it out onto some tracing paper on a laser jet printer. So now we have the uh, the mask or the artwork uh, on, on tracing paper. We're going to expose the circuit board itself using ultraviolet light. What you can see here is an ultraviolet light box and there is in fact the, the unexposed um, uh, PCB. We're just peeling off the protective coating. So that's going to go into the, the light box just now and we're going to turn it on. You can see that the, the mask or the, the artwork in there is going to act like a shadow and uh, that same pattern is going to be exposed onto the circuit board itself. So once the PCB has been exposed, it can be taken out of the ultraviolet light box and you just about see the pattern of the artwork on the, on the circuit board there, just about. Uh, and once that's done, we can pop it in uh, to the developer tank. The developer tank uh, is really just a simple solution of sodium hydroxide and it should be about room temperature. So in case you're wondering, this part of the process is taking away all that photoresist that we no longer uh, want to have there. This is uh, the stage before the etching process. And uh, once you can see, you can see it now actually, um, it's, you can really see those tracks, you can really see the artwork in there. Um, the, the black areas is going to be the copper later on. Uh, of course the whole board is covered with copper at the moment but we're going to etch that away in the next step of the process. In fact that's what's, that's what's happening just now in your picture. And you can see in that picture that the copper is almost all gone. You can see some traces of it still so we'll pop it back in and uh, for just a couple more moments to get rid of all that copper. So now under the dark areas is still copper um, but that's been um, that's been saved for us by the by the uh, the photo resist on top. So the etching process is almost complete. The uh, circuit board has been fully etched. You can see it there and the copper remains underneath the unexposed uh, photo resist of course um, from earlier. And there it is, all finished. Uh, all we've got to do now is clean it with an abrasive block. And you can see that that is actually exposing the, the nice shiny copper underneath. And it's that of course that will be um, carrying our current uh, later on. So once it's properly cleaned and drilled we can begin to solder in the components in place. And of course it goes without saying that you should always test your circuit board at the end. This circuit board actually is uh, or was designed to um, drive two seven segment displays.